if she can give me host phone. Oh. Okay, let me give you. No, 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 it's the life already. Okay, then, all right. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all life. Right. Wow, that's it. I'm on the planet. God, God bless you. Sister, testimony over to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty Jesus. Oh, we thank God for the grace of God once again. Bless his name for the opportunity he has given unto every one of us to be alive today and to be in his presence. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. We go for our opening prayer. We welcome you, my evangelist Jenna. You are welcome, man. God bless you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. We want to thank God again for today. We thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for our online family. Thank you, Father. Thank you for those that are still to be connected. We glorify your name for whom you are. We appreciate you, Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to say a short prayer before we start. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you for today. It's another day, Father, Lord God Almighty. We exalt your name. You've been so faithful, Father. You've been so protective. You've been so caring. You have provided for us throughout, oh, Father, up to this time in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you again. We exalt your name. Glorify yourself in us, oh, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm going to read Psalms 150. Say, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty act. Praise him according to his exceeding, according to, according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalmtry and art. Praise him with the timber and dance. Praise him with strange instrument and organ. Praise him upon the loud cymbal. Praise him upon the height sounding cymbal. Let everything that had breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to sing praises for God before we start our opening prayer of today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. I am a living soul, I'm a living soul, I praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. The most irenate, the most irenate, the most irenate in our life today. The most irenate, the most irenate, the most irenate in our life today. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. I am a living soul, I'm a living soul, and praise the Lord. You are a living soul, you are a living soul, please praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise the Lord. Hiya, Hiya, Lord, that is your name. Hiya, 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 Lord, that is your name. 
We praise your name, praise your name, praise your name. Oh Lord, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Father, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you. Oh Lord, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. Oh Lord, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Haya, 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 that is your name. We lift you higher, higher, hallelujah, higher, higher, that is your name. We praise your name, praise your name, praise your name. Father, we praise your name, we praise your name, we praise your name. Father, we lift you higher, lift you higher, lift you higher. Father, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you. Oh Lord, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Father, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Higher, higher. Aya, that is your name. Aya, 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 Lord, that is your name. We praise your name, we praise you, we praise you, we praise, praise your name, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Oh Lord, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Be still and know. That I am God, be still. I know 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 that I am God. Be still, I know that I am gone. I am the Lord that healed thee. I am the Lord that healed thee. Be still, I know that I am gone. Be still, I know that he is God. Be still, I know that he is God. Be still, I know that he is God. He is the Lord that healed us. He is the Lord that healed us. Be still, I know that he is the Lord. Awesome God, how great you are. You are God, mighty are your miracle. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship you. Holy are you, Lord, of creation, call you, Lord, worthy is your name, Lord, we worship your majesty, we say holy. Are you Lord of creation? Call you Lord. What is your name? Father, we worship your majesty. Awesome God, I pray you are. You are God, mighty are your miracles, standing on of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship you. Awesome God, how great you are. 
You are God, mighty are your miracle, standing up of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship you. Lord, we bow and worship you. Oh God, the God of heaven, keeper of the covenant. Oh, you, the God of heaven, keeper of all the promises. I had sing praises to you. We love your majesty. It's a to you help us. Oh, the, the God of heaven, delivering us from a fire, from the tempest and the bless. I comfort and I stay in this place and time only. That you have helped us, oh, the God of heaven, glory to your name. Amen. Let us lift up our voice to the God of heaven. He has said us so far. Let us lift up the, his name, Aya. Let us worship him. Let us glorify his name. Let us give him what he cannot give himself. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus Christ? Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, Father, we lift your name higher. We lift your name higher, O Lord God Almighty. We exalt you, Almighty Redeemer, and faithful God. We exalt you because you are great, you are mighty, you are faithful. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you all the praise, we give you all the adoration. Father, we glorify your holy name for whom you are. We worship you, Father, for whom you are, O Lord. We give you all the praise for whom you are, Father. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. Thank you, faithful God. You are so mighty, you are so faithful. Faithful, you are a glorious God. That you we salute you, we greet you, O oh Lord. We burn before your throne, Almighty Father. We burn before your throne, Almighty Redeemer, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Rock of Ages. Thank you, Mighty Father. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mighty power. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for that thing only you can do. Thank you, glorious Father. Thank you, Mighty God. We exalt your holy name. We worship your holy name. We give you all. The praise. Thank we you, give you all the adoration you, in the mighty name of Jesus Lord, Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, my rock and my king. We exalt your name. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are going to go before the throne of grace and mercy and ask him for mercy. Let us pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah, King of glory, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God Almighty, we ask you for mercy, O Lord. We ask you for mercy, Maroc and Martin. We ask you for mercy, Jehovah, King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ask for mercy, O Father God. You are so mighty, you are so faithful, you are glorious, God. Father, have mercy on us. Have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, Almighty Father. Have mercy, O Lord God Almighty. With your precious blood, O Jesus, that mother show us mercy and I watch us so look bless us so look father we ask for your mercy father show us mercy father mercy Lord mercy wash us so look bless us so look purify us Lord in the name of Jesus Christ my father my Lord my Savior my Redeemer we are pleading for your mercy we are pleading for your mercy mercy Lord mercy 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 faithful Redeemer mercy my rock and my King mercy Jehovah Jari mercy King of glory Lord have mercy have mercy O Lord have mercy, O Mighty Father. Have mercy, my rock and my king. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to call upon the blood of Jesus, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. 
Let the blood of Jesus cleanse and purify us. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us from any power, from any filthiness, filthiness of the spirit, filthiness of the flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, let us pray. Father God let the blood of Jesus please us from all fitness, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus clean us from all fitness, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus clean us from all fitness, of the flesh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us, Maroc, as my faith. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse and purify us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus purify us. Blood of Jesus cleanse us. Blood of Jesus cleanse us. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to welcome them. May the Holy Spirit come and take control. Whatever we want to do, we hand it over to the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, feed Holy Spirit. We Father come God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, we welcome you, Holy Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus. No, without you, we cannot do it without you. We welcome you in our midst, in the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit of God. Come and have your way, in the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. We welcome you, come and have your way, in the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit of God. We welcome you, in the name of Jesus, come and have your way. Holy Spirit of God, come and have your way, Holy Spirit of God. We cannot do it without you. Come and have you with, abide with us, dwell with us, Lord. Father, Lord God Almighty, Holy Spirit, take control. You are in the name of Jesus. You are in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God. Father, come and have your way. Come and have your way. Come and have your way, Holy Spirit of God. Let's go to worship, Father Almighty, in the Spirit and the truth. Father, without you, we cannot do nothing. We welcome you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we thank you all. We welcome you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit of God. Come and have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are still praying. The Bible says we raise not against flesh and blood, but against principality and power in the highest places. We are now going to cover all ourselves with all the armor of God, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Lord, my heavenly Father, we thank you for your whole armor, God, my dear God, Father. I cover myself with the whole armor, God. I put on the whole armor, God, myself. I put on the whole armor, God, my husband, my children. I put on the whole armor, God, my family members, Lord. And I put on the whole armor, God, right in the name of Jesus, God, my Father. We put on your whole armor, God, in the name of Jesus, God, my Father. And by the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, my Father, Lord. My Savior, my Redeemer, my dear God. Put on the whole armor, God, in Jesus, God, my Father. My Lord, put on the whole armor, God, in the name of Jesus, God, my Father. Put on the whole armor, God, in the name of Jesus, God, my Father. My Lord, put on the warm for every each and every one of us in this ministry. And I put on the warm for myself, my husband, my children. Put on the warm for God in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. Thank you for the whole warm for God in Jesus' mighty name. My Lord, Father, in an exhaustion, my Father, my God, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are not taking authority over any plan of the enemy. Wherever they are gathering it in the air, the land, and the sea, we stand upon the scripture as the Bible tells us that they will surely gather together, but it is not by him, Lord. But he said, whosoever gather together against us shall fall for our sake. We are not going to take that authority over any, over any, any, any spirit. Of distraction, any spirit of frustration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord, my Father, Lord, Lord, the King of Kings, the Lord of all the ancients, the Father, who come against every force of darkness, that gather right against this ministry, against the service of the Father. Almighty God, let my dead dead, wherever they gather, my dear God, Father, let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. And I go frustrate them, frustrate them, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, and the Almighty God, come and take the control of the ministry. Oh, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I rise and fight for each and every one of fight for this ministry. Fight for the message of today. Fight for, for, today. Fight for everything that we know that anything can do. And I rise and fight for us. He holds and fight for us. He sends and fight for us. Don't let us go. Don't let me find a fight for us. Can't find a fight for the Satan. The Satan is doing us all over. And I pray for you to show your plans in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, cast down their plans wherever they are, Father. Wherever they gather, Father, let them be. Cast down their plans. 
Thank you, Lord. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are going to commit all the activity that will happen here today. We commit it to God. We are going to ask God to take control over the praise and worship, over the testimony, the Bible reading, the message, and the messenger. Let us commit it to God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God Lord, Almighty, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord, the ancients of this, Father, we commit everything that will be done on this service to John to your Father, Almighty God. From the beginning to the end, the Almighty God, take perfect control by in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. And Almighty God, speak to you, Father, help us to worship in the spirit and in the church of Almighty God. And Almighty God, let your name be Lord of Lord of Lord. When everything that we do in this, in this minute, in the name of the Father, let it bring glory to your holy name, O Lord. In the name of the Father, let your name be Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you the blessing. And ask God that because, oh Lord God, oh man, to bring your servant before you, Lord God. Protect and every word that you deliver to him, Father, let him deliver it, oh Lord God Almighty. Complete, let him pour himself to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray, oh, Father, Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Lord, God, present, oh Lord God Almighty, we present, oh Father, and yeah, yeah, we are so to you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we present him to you, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, Father, that we take your body, we take your control, oh Lord God Almighty, take control, Father, and you will die, you may have to live, you may have to live, that's all. Father, Lord, we pray, oh Lord God, that you will be the name of God that you are going to. Hallelujah. We are going to still pray, Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you, O Lord God Almighty, for today. We thank you, O Lord. For making it possible for us to be together again we thank you lord god almighty for bringing your daughter safe back home we thank you for healing oh lord god almighty you are our other sister father we thank you lord god almighty for making today very special oh father in the name of jesus christ jehovah king of glory as we commit all our activity to you father we pray the oh lord god almighty that may you glorify yourself in it in the name of jesus christ we we'll cover everything we we'll cover ourselves our brethren Father, the choir, the, the Bible reading, the testimony. Father, we cover with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare this service open in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, it is up open. Amen. 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 We thank God for the opening prayer. We welcome our youth from Cameroon for praise and worship. I welcome our youth choir from Cameroon. Just three minutes, they are coming.
Praise the Lord, hallelujah. It's another moment again for us to sing praise to the Lord, amen. Mm -hmm. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We reign, we reign, we reign, oh. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. Hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We reign.
worship your name. For you are my God, you are the Lion of Judah. You, you are, are my God. God, you are my God. You, you are, are the eyes I used to see. You, you are the key that opens my door. door. You are the honor of my soul. The fruit of the night that never consumes. What shall I render to you, oh my God? All right, Father, I worship your name, for you are my God. You are the most high. You are the most high God. You are the most high. Amen. Amen. We invite our youth for him. We welcome for him. We are waiting for our youth for him. We welcome your board already. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. It's another moment for us to sing a hymn. Amen. Amen. When you look upon life below, you are When you look upon life below, you are tempestos. When you are discouraged, thinking all is lost. Cause your many blessings name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Cause your blessings name your blessing them one by one. Cause your blessings see what God has done. Cause your blessings name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Are you ever bonded with the Lord of care? Does a cross in heaven you are called to bear? Count your many blessings, name the one by one. And it will surprise you as 
Thanks you to the surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessing. Count your blessing in them one by one. Count your blessing, 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 see what God has done. Count your blessing and make them one by one. And you will surprise you what the Lord has done. When you look at objects we just last and go, things that Christ has promised you, his word and told. Count your many blessings, money can not buy. Your reward in heaven, know your joy in it. Count your blessing. Count your blessing, may they one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has. So I'm in the conflicts with a great or so with a great or small. Do not be discouraged, God is over all. Count your many blessings, name them one by one. Help and comfort give you to your joining and count your blessings. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, make them one by one. And you will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And you will surprise you what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our choirs have told us we should count our blessings and we will see what the Lord has done for us that is great and mighty. I pray our blessings shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. God bless you, our choir. God will renew your strength. God will strengthen you in the name of Jesus. More wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from above in Jesus' name. Amen. As we continue with our service, we welcome Brother Jason for the Bible reading. Brother Jason for Bible reading. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. I read Psalms chapter 143, verse 1 to 7. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. With my voice unto the Lord, I did I make supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they privately laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld that there was no man that would know me. They feared freed me. No man cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. I turn unto my cry, for I am bought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than me. Bring my soul not out of prison, that I may praise thy name, the righteous shall come past me about. For thou shalt deal bountifully with me. Amen. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord for the Bible reading. We pray the word of the Lord will have good impact in our lives in the name of Jesus. So testimony time. It's time for testimony, brethren. When we give testimony, we just put Satan to shame. When we share our testimonies, it means that we put devil into confusion. When we give a testimony of what the Lord has done, we are rather saying, 
Jesus is the only one that has all the power to do all things. So because of this, I will invite anyone that is having testimony. Maybe you have a testimony to share to the glory of God, what the Lord has done for you in your family. We would like to listen to your testimonies. Anyone? Anyone with testimony? Okay, there's no testimony. Okay. Praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Welcome. Hallelujah. Man. We bless the name of the Lord. I thank God for God. We thank God. I just want to say thank. I just want to bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. He's mighty. He's excellent. He's wonderful. I bless his holy name. My testimony, I just want to thank God for adding another year to one of my child and one of my daughters here. I bless the name of the Lord for his goodness, for his lovely kindness. I thank God for, for, for speedy recovery he's given to me. I thank God for the healing. I thank God he's worthy, he's mighty, he's excellent, wonderful Savior. I just bless him. My testimony again that he kept me and my family alive. We are alive, every one of this ministry, we are alive. We, I thank God for God. May the Lord bless you all. That is my testimony. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. The scriptures has already told us that the number of our days we will fulfill on night. And with long life, it will satisfy us and it will show us the salvation. That is the word of the Lord for our lives. And we pray for our sister that the Lord will prolong our life with good health in the name of Jesus. And we also thank God on your behalf for the good recovery. We thank God for the good health. May the peace of the Lord that passes all understanding will continue to be with your family as a whole in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyone again? Okay. I, so I have testimony. Praise God. I want to thank God for my life. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. I want to thank God for my family. The Lord has been so good to us. He has been so excellent. In all things, he has been proving himself that he's overdue God. So because of what the Lord has done, I've come to say thank you, Jesus, for the grace and for his mercies over our lives. Praise the Lord. So, uh, brethren, I want us to commit all the testifiers to the hands of God. Let's close our eyes and commit all the testimonies to the hands of God, that God of heaven will shield the testimonies with his blood, that the blood of Jesus Christ will continue to manifest in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and pray and tell God, let's commit the testifier to the hands of God, that the Lord Almighty will continue to strengthen them in the name of Jesus, and he will put more testimonies in our mouth in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Um, we are using this medium to welcome our new members. If there is anyone that is worshiping with us for the very first time, would like to welcome you, would like the people of God to know you more, would like to see you more in our midst of the program. Anyone? There is no newcomer here. Any newcomer online, we welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bless God for your life and we hope to see more of you, to see your beautiful and awesome faces in the name of Jesus. As you are coming, the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. I welcome everyone in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome evangelists. Fisha, I welcome on Evangelist Jana, Evangelist Mary, Pastor James, Brother Jason, and everyone. I welcome myself also in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray if the Lord tarries, if the Lord tarries, we'll see another Sunday in the land of the living, and the Lord will preserve us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's time to hear the word of God. I know we are very happy. It's time to hear the word of the living God. He says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every death from the mouth of God. 
So it means that when we are eating our physical daily food, we should not neglect or forget the word of the Lord, the food that nourish our spirit, body, and soul. We should not forget about the word of God. That is where we can draw our strength from. That is where we can draw our, our, our unity with Christ, our communion with Christ. And as we listen to the word of God today, the Lord Almighty will help us and make the word that we are going to listen to today to have a good impact in our lives and in the ministry in the name of the Lord Jesus. So we are God as the Lord will be using him for us this evening. And as we listen, may the Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. Let's welcome our pastor, Pastor James, for the word of God. You are welcome in Jesus' name, sir. Hallelujah. If you can hear me, just say amen so that I can, um, I'm sure that you're listening to me. Amen. Ah, amen. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord this evening that uh, the Lord has given us such another wonderful evening to sit under his feet and also to hear the word of God. And it is always a blessing to get a, an opportunity like this uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. So because uh, we are on time, uh, we are going to go straight to the word of God. But I want to pray, then we, we proceed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you. Because, oh God, you have given us such an opportunity again to share the word of God in the Bible. The Lord, my Father, your word may be a voice to speak to our heart, may encourage us, may also inform us, may also build us in the mighty name of Jesus, may also warn us, may also purify us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you and Lord, we give you glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So tonight, uh, my brethren, I thank God that I have gotten an opportunity to share the word of God and also to, re uh, to read the Bible. It is always a privilege and also something to thank God for uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want to lead uh, to speak about the, the importance of faith especially in such an hour uh, that we are living in. Uh, and I'm going to talk about the faith that endures, especially in this hour, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I want to read, um, I want to read the verse uh, from the book of Hebrews. That's where I'm going to begin. Uh, Hebrews, uh, Hebrews chapter 11. Uh, that's where I want to begin. The book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse, uh, I think I'm, I'm going to read verse 1. Uh, Hebrews chapter 11, uh, beginning verse 1. So that we can um, just remind our hearts and our spirit, especially the, the importance of faith. Uh, because, you know, the definition of faith has been defined in, in various ways, but tonight we are going to see uh, in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse um, 1. The Bible says, Now faith is, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So not seen. Uh, the evidence of things hoped for, the evidence of things, I say, the evidence. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. You know, what we hope, what we hope, we are not, we have not touched it, we have not seen it. And that's why you know, right away, nobody can tell you you don't have faith because you don't have. No, you know, sometimes people say, okay, this person doesn't have because he doesn't have faith. No, faith is something hoped for. 
things not seen, the true definition of true faith. You know, people say, oh, this man is of, of great faith. See how, how he is super rich. His faith is so, so big. No, but the scripture here says, things hoped for. So hope, faith is something else, something holy, something spiritual. That's why the Lord first defined the faith like this, you know. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. So the measurement of faith to the church or to us, sometimes when we, look, we read the scripture, we see it's different. It's different than what, for example, people have been preaching. Because you see here, it's something not seen, something we are just hoping for. And that's why, for example, the Bible says we go to heaven by faith, by grace, by faith. We go to heaven by, 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 by grace, by faith. So you see, when the Lord was speaking about this, they are, and, and, and the Bible says, for by it, that's verse two, uh, for by it, the elders obtain good report, uh, good report, uh, you know, through faith. And if we can jump, especially verse six, uh, just for the same, same chapter, chapter 11, verse six, the Bible says, but without faith, it is impossible to praise him. For he that cometh to God must believe he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that seek, seek uh, uh, that diligently seek him. You know, sometimes when you ask questions, do you have faith? People say, ah, for me, I have faith. I know Jesus. So tonight we are going to see the kind of faith that Jesus Christ was highlighting here, or the Lord was speaking here. What, 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 kind, of, what, what kind of that faith? What kind of that faith that Jesus Christ was speaking here? Because he said, but without faith, it is impossible for, to praise him. You know, the Bible says, without holiness, no one will see the Lord. There are other virtues that are very important in the Bible. Without purity, it's very important. Purity is very important. You know, without mercy, all the, the virtues, the fruit of the spirit, is very important. But here, the Lord mentions something that is very critical also to pleasing God. And you know, those people who enter into the king, the church that enters the kingdom of God, this church that's pleasing God. So that means also faith is also a very important subject, especially for Christians. And keep measuring, do I still have faith? Am I still maintaining the faith? So it is a very, it's a very important topic to examine because also it hinges directly in pleasing our Father, our Maker, our Lord Jesus Christ. So that's why I want to begin there. And faith is very important. And very good. So also Jesus Christ spoke about faith. I'm going to read a few scriptures about faith. But I'm going to define the faith that the Lord is speaking about here. For example, if you read the book of Matthew chapter 12, the book of Matthew chapter 12, Matthew, Matthew 12, uh, I'm going to read verse 22. The book of Matthew chapter 12, verse 22. Uh, so we are talking about the faith. Matthew chapter 12, verse 22. Matthew chapter 12, verse 22. We are talking about faith, very critical, very important, very instrumental. But Matthew 12, verse 22, uh, the Bible says, then, uh, okay, uh, okay, verse 22 says, then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb, very severe condition, very serious condition. Somebody who is possessed in the devil, bride, the Bible says bride, dumb, not seeing, not hearing. You, you really pity, you know. And he healed him in so much that the blind and dumb both spoke and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, is not this the son of David? 
But when the Pharisee heard it, they, they said, this Pharaoh does cast out devils, uh, out devils by Zerbab, you see, Belzabab, the prince of the devils. Jesus, and Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought down to the story, to, um, to the desolation. And every city of all house divided against itself shall not stand. So Jesus was asking, did a very big miracle. But here, you know, people did not have faith. First, they doubted. Say, no, this man must be possessed of the devil. Because when Jesus was doing the ministry, what racked most, we are going to see even the disciples. These were Pharisees first. These were Pharisees first. What racked most is faith, especially when he was doing the ministry. And that's why we are going to be internalizing some questions, especially and see how Jesus Christ rebuked them, kept rebuking them, kept rebuking them kept rebuking them because of lack of faith. For example, if you read further, the book of uh, Second uh, Corinthians, first, Second Corinthians chapter five, Second Corinthians chapter five, as we are building the importance of faith tonight, especially in this time, uh, Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seven, Second Corinthians chapter five, Verse seven, hallelujah. Uh, second, for, see, see, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Our walk is based on faith and we define faith. Substance, hoped for, things not seen. So that means the church should not live in the realm of what we are seeing. And that's why, for example, the gospel that is preached today is not the gospel of faith because people say, I believe that you are with God until I have an evidence of what God has done to you. I see it. I touch it. That it is sin. But faith is something sacred, something holy that is deposited. If we walk by faith, not by sight. Sight means seeing. And that's why you see, for example, as we have just read in the book of Hebrews, the Bible says those who come to God must believe that he is not seeing him, but he is there. And that's why, for example, when Moses went to pray in the mountain, in the book of Exodus, when he came back, he met Aaron had already made a calf, a God that they can see, touch, a God that they can feel for them to believe. But holy faith is something not seen. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Hallelujah. So we, if we can go further, uh, just reading the scripture, going across the scripture about faith. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. Just going across before we reach. You know, the danger of uh, 2 Timothy. So Paul was also, was, was also highlighting about faith. Uh, second Timothy, we can we can just highlight that very quickly. Uh, because we are going through the scriptures to en encourage our hearts importance of pure faith, especially in this last hour that we are living in the hour of storm. We are going to read about that storm. For example, uh, the book of First Timothy, uh, chapter Second Timothy chapter four, verse three. Uh, chapter 4, verse 3 says, uh, okay, uh, let me first not uh, read for chapter 4. I, I, I read first, first Timothy, not, 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 not second. Let me read uh, uh, first Timothy chapter 4. First Timothy, not second. First Timothy chapter 4. Uh, the Bible says, now the spirit, ex uh, the, and now the spirit, uh, speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from faith. The latter times means the latter days, the days that we are living in. 
Hallelujah. The days that we are living in, that means the latter time, the latter days. Some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to the seducing spirits and doctrines of the devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience sealed with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats which God has created, to receive them with thanksgiving, uh, of them which believe and know the truth. You see? You see, some will depart from faith. And in fact, now it's the majority who have departed from faith, even as we, have read, we are reading. And in this majority that who have departed from faith, that true faith, and they are believing on the sun. That's why you need, for, for example, the gospel of prosperity is so popular in such an hour that we are living in. In fact, if you don't preach the, the gospel of prosperity, you are not popular at all. And gospel of prosperity brings things that you touch, you feel, no faith. I, they believe a God who does things that are sin. But sometimes faith is, all the time, faith is something hoped for, not seen. That's why, for example, blessings, true blessings from God, the terms, in terms of spiritual proximity with God, nearness to God, are accessed through true faith. That's why he was saying, some will depart from the true faith. So if we go uh, and go to different manifestation of spirit, we can read the book of Matthew chapter 21. Let us read the book of Matthew chapter 21. We're just um, going across the importance of faith. The book of Matthew chapter 21, verse 21. Matthew 21, verse 21. We are still, we are running something very critical, departing from the importance of faith. Importance of true faith. 21 verse 21 says, Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if you have faith, and doubt not, you shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree. You know, before uh, before you you before I reach there, before I reach there, for you to understand well, let me uh, uh, hallelujah. Let me let me read verse seventeen before I come to verse twenty one. Let me start from verse seventeen. And he left them and went out of the city of uh, Bethany, and he rode there. And in the morning, as he returned into the city, he was hungry. He, he hungered, you can imagine. Never ate supper, very hungry. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon, but leaves only. And said unto it, let not, not, not let no fruit glow on thee henceforth forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. You know, there and there withered away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Very quickly. You can understand what, what then he, Jesus said, verse 21. Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if you have faith and not doubt, you shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. 
and it shall be done. And all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing, believing, you shall receive. Can you imagine? It's something very because Jesus was walking. He wanted to eat some fruit from the fig, fig tree. And the fig tree was in I mean, we, 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 the, was, the, the tree was in, in its season, but there was no fruit. He cast it. It withered right away. The disciples were marveled. Marveled, seriously. But here is the lesson that Jesus says, no, even you, if you have faith. So Jesus Christ was teaching them a lesson through the, the fig tree. How, how faith moves issues that look like mountains in our lives. In fact, when things become mountainous in our life, but this is a heavy mountain before me. And you know, it is either it is removed or it falls on you. You are unable, and it is stand from it stand from the way. The Bible says, "What is required is faith." Hallelujah. The key thing that the ingredient that moving mountains that are before us, and you know there are many things, especially in this hour, that they are mountains. The distress that is especially on earth is a mountain. For example. And I'm, 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 I'm also I'll be reading that storm because of the situation and the difficultness, especially of the time that we are living in. For example, the economic meltdown is becoming a very big mountain to Christian. Sometimes sicknesses becomes a mountain. Family issues sometimes becomes a mountain and many other things. And Jesus Christ just so says that not only this to this fig tree that has withered right away, I have cast it. it has, you know, if I was there, I could have been so marveled. But see the reply of Jesus Christ, it's only the seed of faith. And you remember, I'm not going to read there, but Jesus Christ sometimes, uh, Peter asks our Lord, increase our faith. But what was the, what was the answer? No. See, even if your faith is small, like the must hand seed. But this, the difference here was the true faith, not any faith, the true faith. And I say the true faith is such a faith that believes on those things that are not seen. Because someone Paul asked, why do we continue hoping for things that we can see? No hope, you don't need faith. For example, people say, well, we need faith for us to get money. Yes, I believe it. But for me, sometimes I believe you work, you get money. You, the Lord provides a job, the Lord provides a way. Then you see, faith, this kind of faith is very important. For, let us read for over. Uh, let us read over, especially in the book of Matthew chapter 15. In the book of Matthew chapter 15. Uh, the book of Matthew chapter 15, verse, uh, I read this scripture when I, when I was doing the Lord's table, but I'm going to read it in terms of faith now. Uh, Matthew chapter uh, 15, verse 21 also. Matthew 15, this was a Samaritan woman, you know, Canaanite woman, you know, from Canaan. Uh, if you read it from verse, uh, verse 21, it says, then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same, uh, of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Lord, uh, 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 okay, saying, have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. So serious. I'm going to read two cases here. Hey, this is one. But he answered her not a word. 
And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And she came and, and, and came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meant to take the children's blood and cast it into dogs, uh, to, to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it, be it unto thee, even as thou will. You see, Jesus Christ recognized her faith. You see, that ability to, to, you know, and you know, Jesus Christ wrote completely normal. Although he had, uh, she had had the miracles that she was, he was doing, but she believed her faith was so recognized, you know. Then Jesus Christ, he was amazed. Her faith. And you know, whenever Jesus Christ met faith in the Bible, he was moved beyond measure. Another classic example. You see the book of Matthew chapter 8. The book of Matthew chapter 8. Whenever Jesus Christ met faith, this woman, first she did not qualify. She, did, she was not to, to be healed, you know. Her daughter was not to be healed, you know. But faith made the difference. Verse, uh, chapter 8, verse 7. Matthew chapter 8, verse 7. I'm just going. I'm, I'm just going through this. Matthew chapter eight. Whenever Jesus Christ met faith, he was moved, and that's why you see we are born again by faith. It is in heaven. You know, for example, for me, I have never dreamed of heaven. I have never. If there are some people who have dreamed, blessed are they. I have never seen the kingdom. You know, I hear people say. Oh, for me, I have seen Jesus Christ as he is. Me, I have never, even in a dream. But I'm still on a journey, in a journey, on the journey. I'm still believing. And this is, in fact, some almost, almost, almost 15 years or more. Still believing, no dream, no nothing, nothing. Just waking up, I pray, I read the Bible, I preach. That must be great faith. I have not seen, no evidence. But you still hope for things that are not seen. But I still believe there is a kingdom of God. I still believe it. I still believe there is a reward for those who serve God. I still believe it. I still believe there is new Jerusalem, and I have not seen it. You know, there are people who are saying, I hear them preaching, I have a sort of amazed at so a seed, so that I can confirm whether your, seed, your name is still in the book. And you, and you see people so seed, then a prophet say, okay, I have seen your name is still there. So I see it so that I can see whether your mansion is still intact. You know, they say, because people have doubts and, and people rush and kill. So I see ten dollars, ten dollars for my name to be checked. And they reply that it's still there. But yet, you know, the Bible says you should believe it is there by faith and getting hold of it. It is there, oh God. It is there. That's what I'm believing. So whenever Jesus Christ met faith, he was so impressed. So let us read verse, verse 7. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 says, And Jesus says unto him, I, I, So, okay, let, let, let us uh, uh, start verse 5 so that we can flow. Well, verse 5 says, 
And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lied at home, sick of passy, grievously tormented. And Jesus says unto him, I will come and hear him. And that's a good reply. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. That's first humility. You know, I'm not even worthy. You know, it was a Gentile, not a Jew that, that claimed the light. You are sent to us, come. But he said, no, don't come. I am not even worthy. But speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Only a word. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say unto, uh, and I say to this man, go, and he goeth. And to the other, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled, you know, our Lord marveling, he marvels at faith of people. In fact, I was shocked that even Jesus Christ is not even moved by holiness or by, for example, people, virtues that people can claim. For me, I'm so righteous. But Jesus Christ is mostly moved by faith, the way you believe him, the way you trust him, that you have faith in him. You see, he was marveled. You see, uh, you see, you see, uh, uh, you see Jesus had, he was marveled. Uh, he marveled and said unto, uh, 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 he said to him, uh, to them that followed him. Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. And I say unto you, that many shall come from the west, east and west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Can you imagine? Said, I have not found faith like this in Israel. So just speak, you know, Jesus perceived so faith. You see, and that's why you need always, when we are relating to Jesus, even when we go to prayer, for example, Jesus is not moved by the many words, for example, we use in prayer, but he is, he is moved by the way we believe him. All of that, that faith. So this man moved Jesus. If you can go further, let me read another example uh, before I read the book of Luke, chapter 5. So uh, you can see that, that's what really, it was so powerful. If you read the book of Luke, chapter 18 also, the book of Luke, chapter 18, faith. The importance of faith. This centurion man uh, moved. Uh, so whenever Jesus Christ met faith, it was so serious. It was so serious. Verse 18, same. Chapter 18, verse 1. That is, um, that is uh, Luke chapter 18, verse 1. You can start from verse 1, but I'm going to uh, add somewhere. So tonight we are just reminding the importance of faith. It importance of faith, very key. Very, very key, I say, and he spoke a parable unto them to this end, that met, men ought always to pray and not faint, saying, there was in a city a judge, uh, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither, regarded man. 
And there was a widow in that city. And she came unto him saying, avenge me of my adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continued coming, she wears me. See, coming, coming, coming all the time. So that means this widow had faith in the judge. So much this, my, he is the one to avenge me. He is the one to, to give me what I need. So he kept coming. So that was a parable. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge says, verse 7. And shall not God avenge his own erect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, Shall he fight faith on earth? Hallelujah. Shall he fight faith on earth? So that means those people who are still be, still be waiting. In fact, uh, there is a scripture also. I'm also going to cross check it very fast. But what even made the, the children of Israel not to enter into the kingdom of God? It is because what Moses used to speak to them, they did not believe it. It was not mixed with faith. And that's why the ingredient of faith, believing and trusting. It's not it's really having faith in the Lord, very paramount. Because you see here, shall he fight faith on earth? And we just define faith in the book of Hebrews. Don't forget that. It is not some, some, a substance of things hoped for, not seen. So faith is not the gospel that is preached today. Touching, touching. I must see it. I must get it. I must touch it. No. He was talking about something else. And especially to, 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 uh, to the, in these in this times that we are facing many, many, many challenges as Christians, storms, how faith is, will help Christians, the true Christians these days, the true faith. And that's why Jesus Christ wants our faith not to go down. He wants us to believe and have faith in him. And you know, also, he wants us also to get the true definition of faith. For example, that's why you see here, he is asking, will I fight faith? And that's also this, this was also what made the children of Israel not to enter. For example, in the book of Hebrews, let me cross check it in the book of Hebrews before my 15 minutes uh, go. I am remaining with uh, some minutes. Uh, so if, if you see the book of Hebrews, uh, the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 4, um, hallelujah. <clears throat> so the book of Hebrews chapter 4 I hope you are there the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 1 so we are highlighting the issue of faith the importance of faith uh, especially in this uh, hour and many other scriptures but we are going to read few. let us therefore fear lest a promise being left uh, left us to enter into his rest any of you should seem to come short of it. See, let us fear. You know, there's a promise left. You know, somebody who will promise you something requires you to continually wait for the promise. And that's why the ingredient of faith is key to those who enter. That's why I say also, we don't have we don't have time, but we could have let also the 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 Hebrews chapter 11 that speaks about the generals of faith and you see but we are going to just mention to have an overview of them but not to read you see because a promise was left to them especially Abraham 
And you see how he lived in tents, how he lived a spring green, sojourning on this land because of the promise that was ahead of him. And he endured many things because, so he's, he's cautioning us, but also as there is a promise. And you see that the promise of God stands until today. But surely those who make it in the kingdom of God, there is forever and ever kingdom. Hallelujah. And such is that any better belief, a trust of which the scoffers of today, they are saying, no, 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 you people, since you started believing and preaching it, it is not come. And they have not understood that we, we, are, we, we are still holding. The word of faith, verse 2 says, For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. Did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them that had it. So everything, they did not believe. And also we learned that also we're going to cross check it very fast also in the book of why they did not, they missed it. And you know, for them, the promise was to, to enter into Canaan. It was a physical or a physical Canaan, the land of, the actual real land of Canaan, the physical. But us, it's the spiritual Canaan. That's the kingdom of God. But you see, the promise is the same. They were promised. You, they could not see it, but they were told there is a place that there will be fro, a honey flowing, milk. They just needed to, to be, and you know, Moses used to preach it, you know. The Bible says Moses had seen a vision. In fact, before Moses died, he, the Lord took Moses up a very high mountain. That is the promise that I promised these people. And Moses, because he was a man of faith, he, he was preaching it. Joshua was preaching it. In fact, the Lord sent Joshua, you remember. The Lord sent Joshua and Caleb and 10 men. That is what 12 of all of them. Go and investigate and see it by yourself. And, but you know, the multitude, the children of Israel, they did not see it. Only Joshua, Caleb, and the 10 men, they were 12 in number. Although Joshua and Caleb returned very good report that that land is there. And they continue preaching. And they continue preaching. And these people, they were doubting all of them. <laughs> we don't, could be they were saying in their heart, no, 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 God is a liar. No, 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 it's not there. It's not there. So that's why the Bible says here, they did not profit them. Because, you know, all of them, perished in the wilderness, having the promise. The reason they did not have the ingredient of faith, they did not have belief. Not being mixed with faith in them that had it. And that's why it's very critical sometimes to examine the, the faith level in your heart. Praise the Lord. Because you know, so, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, because you know that that is that, that is the the, the 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 key thing that always the Lord asks us to examine. For example, in the book of uh, Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians, I see, I still have some minutes. Let me utilize them to just give you uh, the book of Second Corinthians, the book of Second Corinthians, so that we can um, be on the same page. Uh, the book of Second Corinthians, chapter 12, I think, chapter 12. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the book of Second Corinthians, if you can see, uh, I can lead verse 12. Uh, let me cross check it very fast. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Second Corinthians, um, uh, sorry, 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 so let, let me check. Um, 
that scripture, yeah, okay, um, it is not, it's not chapter 12, verse 13, it's chapter 13, verse 5. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5 says, Examine yourself. 13, verse 5. Examine yourself whether you be in faith, you know. That means when it comes to faith, you know, there are things that you cannot know. There are things that spiritual that you cannot know, surely. For example, if somebody asks me, are you holy? Sometimes it's not easy to tell. So some, some, someone, somebody give me an example. Are you 100%? Have you worked with God? Sometimes you, even pastors, you ask, you know, and that's why, even, that's why even Abraham, God had to testify to him, uh, for him. But you see, there are things on faith that you need to examine yourself. Am I still on faith? And that is the critical point that you are going to end, up, end with tonight. How do you examine yourself? You know, it's, 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 it's a very tricky thing to examine yourself. That The Lord says that, hey, can you examine yourself? Can you, I examine myself? But tonight we are going to see how do I how do I examine ourselves? So the Bible says, examine yourself whether you be in faith. Prove your own self. Know you not that you are own. Uh, know you not your own self? How that Jesus Christ is in you, except you be reprobate. So examine yourself in first Amazon. James, can you examine yourself? It's very difficult, for example, mm. to examine myself, whether I'm in faith. So, you see, there is a, a, a case that I'm going to, to read before I cross. Um, for example, in the book of Luke chapter 5, the book of Luke chapter 5, um, you see how to uh, sometimes you examine yourself, whether in faith, you have faith or not. Probably when I read this, people will say, okay, for me, I have just automatically examined myself. I have a problem in this area. For example, uh, Luke, chapter, Luke chapter 5, verse 17, you can send, uh, verse 17. Um, no, 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 not Luke, sorry, sorry, so not Luke chapter 5, but Mark, the book of Mark. Luke chapter 5, I'm not going to read uh, for tonight, but uh, let me read the book, the book of Mark. Mark chapter 4, verse 35. Mark chapter 4, verse... And you see the Bible has, has just uh, examined yourself. Because we, it is impossible to please God without faith. We just read like that in the book of Hebrews. So as you check other things, check your, your, your faith level. As you check other things, of, especially for Christian work, check your faith level also. Uh, verse, verse seven, uh, Mark chapter five, um, Mark chapter four, verse 35. Mark chapter four, verse 35. It says, the Bible says, on the same day when the even was come, that's evening, he says unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. You see that confidence? Let us pass over. It is evening. It's not in the daylight. So it is at night. And when the, they had sent away the multitude, they took him they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ship. You see, he entered, the, he, 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 he beat the, he, he waved at them, he entered the ship. And it's even at night. And there arose a great storm of weed. A very good storm of wind. And when the Bible says great, it was so great. You see? And the waves beat into the ship like a tsunami. 
uh, so that it was now full. Can you imagine? So full. And he was in the, uh, he, uh, and he was in the hither part of the ship. You know, ships were built, ship were built, some, the ships were built in some stairs. So you could hide somewhere high. But the lower part of the ship was full of water like this. And, and, and you remember the, state, the first statement. He said, let us pass over onto the other side. And they have just entered into the, into the sea and a very great storm like a tsunami has hit the ship like this. Hmm. And let us read on. And there was a great storm of weed and the waves beat the ship uh, into the ship so that it was now full, already filling the same. Verse 38. And he was in the hidden part of the ship asleep on a pillow. Can, how can you be sleeping? Can you imagine? <laughs> the ship is shaking like this and somebody is sleeping. Just sleeping. The Bible says, on a pillow. And that's our Lord Jesus Christ. On a pillow. And they were awake him, saying unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he lost and he rebuked the weed and said unto the sea, Be peace, be still. And the weed ceased. And there was a great calm. <laughs> Somebody could have celebrated up to there. See, wow. But listen to this, verse 14. And he said unto them, why are you so fearful? So fear is opposite of faith. They did not have faith. How is it that you have no faith? These were the disciples. And you know faith, the definition of faith is being calm in the midst of storms of life. And you are calm. That is what faith is. Faith is not quieting the storms. Because if you read carefully here, Jesus rebuked the weed, not because he wanted that calmness, but it's because of them, their fear. You know, they were shouting, oh, master, wake up. You are not caring. We are, we are dying. And they were, and the Bible says, it's him. how is it? You know, Jesus asked, how is it? that you have no faith. See? And they feared exceedingly and said to another, what man, manner of man is this? That even the weed, even the weed and the sea obey him. So you see, and that's why tonight we are learning this. Faith is not stopping the, the storms. Faith is being calm like Jesus Christ. He was sleeping on a pillow. Can you imagine? Sleeping, deep sleep. Deep, and the, 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 the ship is shaking like this, shaking, shaking. In fact, if they could have not woken Jesus, they could have crossed, as he said in his, let us pass over unto the other side. That's why I say faith is not complaining when people complain over the issues. Oh, and you know, for example, people who have no faith, they have a lot of. In fact, if we can examine our faith tonight, you can judge whether you have faith or you can examine yourself whether you have faith in the midst of storms. For example, the storms of criticism when people are criticizing you, seriously, they don't see anything positive and they are gossiping you. 
and you get those gossip and these people are close to you, how do you behave? Sometimes the storms can be the family issue, based family, storms, very serious storms. But what do we do, we do as Christians? Lord, move them away, we cry. Lord, you have left us. Lord, see how he is doing to me. Then you shout, you shout, you shout. But let me tell you this evening, faith is being calm in the midst of distress. And for example, as the world is going, is either going through serious distress in preparation of Antichrist, those Christians who have faith are calm and peaceful. And sometimes people ask, where are you drawing your, your, this calmness? Haven't you heard what people are talking about you? Are you bright on what you are passing through? But you're still calm. And that's what our Lord, our Father <laughs> required the children of Israel, especially when he passed them through the wilderness because life and issues were tough, very tough, but he required calmness. So this calm re returned when Jesus Christ rebuked and there was stillness. Can you imagine somebody who, and that's why they, I, will, I say that I'll mention the, 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 the generals of faith, the book of Hebrews, just overview. If you see what they underwent, and they were still hoping, craving closely to the promise. They were come because they had faith. So faith, if somebody wants to know, I have faith, I have true faith, I have true faith, true faith, test yourself whenever there is crisis, not whenever it's peaceful, because they were crossing. Very strong wind came, shaking the ship. Jesus Christ, our Lord, sleeping because he had already seen the other side. But the disciples who are crying, No, you are, you are sleeping and you are perishing. Because sometimes the storms that people see that they are going to finish them, if only you have that seed of faith, you endure it and you cross over the other side. It doesn't matter, storm, because faith. Is being calm still in the midst of storm. Faith is not removing the storms sometimes. Faith is being calm in the midst of storms. Sometimes you can be in the middle of the storm and you're crying, Oh God, rescue me from this. Rescue me from this. But he whispers, Only have faith. You're going to enjoy it. Because the first thing that he rebuked the disciples, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? So he requires them, just have faith, not, not to rebuke the sea, but just to enjoy. We, we have the master's word. He said, let us cross over the other side. Because as long as the Lord has said it, no matter the storms, no matter the difficult difficultness, no matter the trials, no matter what people are saying, no matter the fire and everything that you can go through, if you can still hold on that word that Jesus Christ spoke of faith, and especially now he has promised us the kingdom of God, confirmed by the prophets, confirmed by the apostles, Jesus Christ himself also confirming through his spirit, that the kingdom of God is there. And he's not a man to lie in any way. That's why that word of itself, holding for the word of life by faith, then eventually we make it in the kingdom of God. So my parting shot is faith is being calm in the midst of storm, being still in the midst of storm, like Jesus Christ. He stepped on a pillow and the ship is full of water. 
as we have just read the scripture, sleeping. And it is the disciples who woke him up. He could not have been woken. He could have crossed over. Can you imagine? So that is faith. That is what faith is all about. Being calm in the midst of distress. How many Christians today? Small distress. No, no, they shout, they cry. I am gone. It has confirmed you are not with me. You are not with me. How can I be undergoing through this? And I am yours. But Jesus Christ, they were crossing. The storm hit the ship. He was sleeping. So my parting shot again. Faith is being calm. Being still in the midst of serious storms of life. We are facing different storms. But that calmness, stillness, not being moved, still focused, still playing, still fasting, still faithful, still in the midst of the storm, but you're still standing. That is what is called faith. Faith is not getting things on the earth. Faith is still standing in the difficult circumstances. May the Lord bless you. So I'm going to read there because time is over. But tonight we are just talking about faith in the name of Jesus. Over to you, the moderator of the program tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank God for the word of God that has come out throughout this evening. I pray the Lord will increase our faith in the name of Jesus and the, the, the grace that we need to keep all going in Christ so that our faith will not be lost. I pray the Lord Almighty will grant unto us in Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes and pray for our pastor that the Lord has used before we go for our contribution. Let's close our hands, brethren. And pray for him that more grace upon his life, upon his ministry, that the Lord Almighty will keep strengthening him in the name of Jesus. Let's pray, let's pray for Father, him. in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we commit your servant, Lord, Father, your son into your hand, Lord Jesus, Father. As you use him, Lord, Father, to be a blessing, Lord, Father, continue to bless him, Lord, Father, in return, Lord, Father, reward him, Lord, Father, we have been, Lord Jesus, Father, keep him, Lord, Father, from falling in the mighty name of Jesus, as of Nazareth, Lord, Father. We pray, O Lord Jesus, Father, don't weep on your fashion against him, in the mighty name of Jesus, as of Nazareth, every evil tongue that will raise in judgment, Against him, Father, we condemn it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we commit him in your hand, O Lord, Father. Let the angel of God, O Lord, Father, come around him, O Lord, Father, to protect him, fight the battle for him, O Lord, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, thank you for using him, O Lord, Father, to be a blessing for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. In the name of Jesus. We are free. Amen. And more grace, sir. Thank you so much for the word of the Lord. Thank you so much. So we go for our contribution. I welcome Evangelisiana for the contribution. You are welcome, ma. Is she there? Evangelisiana for the contribution, ma. God bless you, my sister. So James, God bless you so much. <laughs> God bless you. Even as true prophecy, they will tell somebody how ah, his ass is finished. And you know, people will believe it. They will believe it. And they will even next time they will still go to know whether the, the position of the house has just changed more. You know, they so seed for it. May God help us. May God forgive us. May God have mercy on us. In the name of Jesus, we are going to enter our contribution. We are talking about our tithe year and our offering. As uh, we'll be singing uh, 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 this song, we we'll prepare our offering and tithe in the name of Jesus. It's still another way to believe, to exercise your faith. You just believe that God said that's how it should be. You just believe that you have to pay your tithe and you pay the tithe. 
you believe that you have to give your offering and you just give for the glory of God. We do all these things by faith, you know. So we are going to now ask, uh, as we are, we, are, we, are, we are singing the song for all of us, any of us to prepare the offering and the tithe. The tithe is 10% of your income as the Bible tells us or your profit. You are in, your offering is what the Lord has laid in your heart to give. As I'm singing this song, let us prepare it in Jesus' name. Giver of all the good, good things, Father, we cannot thank you enough. Giver of all the good, good things, Father, we cannot thank you enough. Giver of all the good, good things. Father, you cannot thank you enough. Giver of all the beautiful things. Jehovah, we cannot thank you enough. Giver of all the big, big things. Jehovah, we cannot thank you. Eh. Oh Lord, give her of all the great, great things. Father, we cannot thank you enough. Let us lift up our tithes and our offering as we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah, King of glory and rock of ages, Father, Lord, we exalt your name. We want to thank you, Lord, for the miracle of being among the living, for the miracle of having opportunity to to, to, to pay our tithe, to give our offering into your house. Father, we want to thank you, Lord God, that as you are blessing the offering, remember and bless your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Multiply the offering, Father. The, uh, multiply the, 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 the offering, oh Lord God Almighty, as he's doing the work of your house. Father, Lord God Almighty, let your name be glorified and exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we we'll cover our offering and tithe with the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome our uh, woman, the Lord of Angelis, mine for the announcement. You are welcome to the Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, my sisters. God bless you, Pastor James, for the message. That was wonderful. It's good to hear that, you know, to increase our faith. It's true what you said. Um, faith is to stand, is to be faithful in the time of storm. There's no faith without storm. There's no faith without challenge. There's no faith without trial. We need to pass through all this so that, that our faith will be increased. May the Lord help us to be faithful in the time of challenges, in the time of storm, to always remember the promise of God in our life, not to be like the disciples, they were with Christ, they were with Jesus, but they did not know him, they did not know the power that was protecting them. Hallelujah. May the Lord help us to be faithful. Our announcement to remain the same so far. I want to apologize for last Sunday. Last Sunday, we actually have program, but because nobody, uh, my daughter was struggling to go live as I was in Africa. I did not take my laptop with me. So it was kind of difficult for her to go live. She didn't know how to do it. So I recorded, we have the record, but it's taking, each time I want to share it, it's asking for the password. For somebody that you clicked on the link, you have to get the password. It's also down down to the link you just copy the password you get to the message may the lord help us to be able to download it on youtube so that everybody will benefit of it in the name of jesus so we had program now also on tuesday we also have program that was live also so our program remained the same like i said monday tuesday first day we have our 1 p.m prayer from 1 uh, 1 p.m london time a uh, monday we dedicate it for praise and worship We'll start our week in the presence of God. And also Tuesday, the first day is pray without ceasing. The Bible says we should not be, be careless in the time of like this. We should pray without ceasing because the enemy is there 24 7 without resting. So we also, that very Tuesday and first day, we have also midnight prayer. As the Bible says, we should not sleep like others, but to be sober into prayer, to pray, to be watchful. Hallelujah. And we have Mondays. 
we have twice a month that we have Bible study every Monday, every twice a month, Mondays at 8 p.m. London time, we have Bible study. Also, every twice a month, we have also Ventures Women in time, exactly the same time on Mondays, 8 p.m. And we have our general night VJ, which is Friday. 11 p.m. London time and also our Sunday service. We have also the department of our children, godly children in Christ. The Bible says we should train our children in the way that they will grow, they will not depart from it. Just they will be Daniel, they will be Jeremiah in our midst, in our children's life. We they join they gather Saturday at 6 p.m. London time. Bring your children along. It's good. We want we are working to, to make heaven. Our children also, we need to take them back where they came from. They came from heaven. We need to return them where they came from. Hallelujah. So we also have our um, every first week of the month. We have our prayer to dedicate the mouth in the hand of God as the enemy also preparing challenges, preparing trials. We need to prepare also, we need to prepare ourselves out to increase our faith. You heard the message of today, to pack, to increase our faith, to fill ourselves with the word of God that will make us to be able to stand against every attack that the enemy is planning during the month. So we gather three days, which we come Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. When this happens, we don't have general night VJ because we finish our prayer at 9 p.m. London time on Friday that we close our fasting and prayers, hallelujah. The first week of the month, the first Sunday of the month, we have our communion. Remember the Bible says we should do it in remembrance of him, in remembrance of him. Each time we remember the, the body of our Lord Jesus, how I sacrifice, every time we remember what he has gone through, we know that we need to check ourselves as the man of God, the read the word of God, he said we should examine ourselves every moment you want to come into the presence of God so that we think that it's only communion. No, it's not just the bread, the physical bread and the physical blood that you purify and we eat. No, the Bible says the word of God is also a bread. So when you come in the presence of God to eat the word of God, to hear the word of God, the Bible says we should do it in remembrance of him so that the word of God you are hearing, he will not stand against you, he will not condemn you. That's why I say we should do it in remembrance of him. Hallelujah. So this is our announcement. So far, as I said, it remains the same. May the Lord bless you. I believe now that I'm back, everything, our program will go back to normal. We will not have challenge of going live anymore. May the Lord bless you. God bless you once again, Pastor James, for the message. Amen. Over to you. Praise the Lord. That Hallelujah. Is for the week, as we are joining our programs, the Lord will keep Strengthen us in Jesus' name. So I invite Pastor James for the benediction. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you so much for tonight. Also, because of remember uh, us remembering importance of faith in our hearts, especially in these last days, O oh Lord. The Lord, faith is to stand firm in the midst of trials. Faith it is to stand firm in the midst of distress and storms of life, O oh God. That is true faith. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, we will not give up, but we will stand strong in faith. Even if we are in the last days and we are passing various distresses and various trials and various problems in this life, but help us to stand in faith in the name of Jesus Christ, that we may not depart from true faith, especially in such a trying time that we are living in. Lord, we thank you so much for the word that, Lord, you have given us. Thank you so much fellow, for this fellowship under our virtuous women in Christ, O oh God. We bless you, and, Lord, we exhort you. Thank you so much for everyone who have heard this word. I pray that, Lord, there may be, um, may be increased 34, 64, and even 100 fold for your glory. We bless you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray.
Amen. Amen. Before we share the grace, I want to just correct something. Sorry, last uh, is it night vigil. We did not have night vigil last time, but we had the Bible, uh, Bible Ventures Woman last time also in the name of Jesus. So let us share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. For surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Few seconds silence, please. Amen. God bless you all. Shalom, shalom, shalom.